22 to 18 as we head to the third in this Patriot League tournament quarterfinal with the Beat Diggers leading the Mead Mavericks. It'll be Odell Chavez, Austin Hartley, Ryan Lazinski, Tyler Triano, and Taylor Desch. The Beat Diggers have Randy Baker. Gregory Mayers, Mitch Tormolin, Jeffrey Dunker, and Colby Needens. And let's see, the throw it in will be Chavez. For Meade. In the backcourt, Dash with the basketball. Dash against Bears, bounce pass on the outside left to Chavez against Colby Needham. At the top for Lazinski. Down low inside for, and it's off of uh, Meade. It was actually Hartley to Lazinski, not Lazinski to Hartley, but it went off of Lazinski. Beat Digger basketball, turnover number 12. Beat Digger's up by four. Here is Colby Needham's outside left to Dunker. Dunker left to the lane, back out to Torbolin at the free throw line. Tormolin hands it off to Baker. Baker in the lane. Spins, looking, still looking. Has to back it out to Colby Needens. On the outside left to Tormolin. Tormolin near the top to Baker. Beat Diggers 22, Mavericks 18. In the opening 45 seconds of the third. Mares on the outside left. He'll take a three. Oh, for Gregory Mares. Mitch Tormolin was serving as a shield. He's grinning ear to ear, too. <laughs> He's running down floor. The Beat Diggers are on a 10 nothing run dating back to the opening half. Hartley on the right wing against Tormolin. Dribbling to his left. Picks up his dribble. On the outside right to Dash. Down low. Entry pass. Poked to bounds by Nita. Lady Beat Diggers lead at the break over me. 26-24. Very close game between a 2 and a 7 seed in brush. Chavez to throw it in. Lobs it down low for Hartley, and on the alley-oop he misses, but then it's tipped up and in by Ryan Lazinski. That stops the 10 nothing run. The beat digger lead is down to 5, 25 to 20, with 6.43 to go, third quarter. Mares on the outside right with a chest pass to Dunker. Dunker penetrating right baseline. Dunker caught off by Triano. Jump pass, Baker, 15-footer. Yes, for Randy Baker. Baker now with four, brush 27, B 20. On the outside left, Lazinski with a bounce pass against Dunker, dribbling to his right. He's going to hand it off to Triano, face the three at the top for Hartley. Hartley left of the lane, jump pass left baseline to Lazinski. Back out, Chavez wants to pull up. He's cut off by Needham. In the right corner, that pass is tipped away by Baker. And then a tie-up between Baker and Triano. Possession arrow is pointing the beat digger's direction. And again, those hustle plays are paying off for them right now. They're starting to get into the Mavericks' head a little bit. But clearly winning this game for Brush's defense. Into the front court is Dunker. Six minutes to go in the third. The Beat Diggers have their biggest lead of seven. Dunker, near that right corner for Baker. Baker looking down low, lobs it at the top for Tormolin. Inside to Dunker, turn, shoots, and short. And the ball is rebounded by Tormolin in the corner. Beat Diggers reset. Back out to Mares. Colby Needham's one point three is no good. And the ball is tipped out of bounds, and it's going to go off of Hartley. Oh, I think the Beat Diggers got a huge break there because it looks like Tormolin tipped it out of bounds. Head coach Darren Reese is not like that at all. And Maris to throw it in. Maris looking, still looking to Needham to the left corner. Needham's back out to Baker. Baker fakes the three on the outside right to Maris. Maris with the basketball to Tormolin. Bounce pass right baseline to Dunker. Dunker backing in, jump pass to Baker on the left wing. Baker left of the lane, back out to Bears. Over to Baker, straight away, three, and that's well short off the bottom of the rim. And the rebound to Taylor Desch. The Mavericks the run, but the Beat Diggers are back on defense. Harley on the right baseline, right of the lane against Tormolin. Turning, shooting, missing, and the ball is tipped up once, twice. Bears has a rebound, foul by Austin Hartley. Hartley's foul is going to be his second. You know, and Meade, quite frankly, is having an off-shooting night as well. And here, Maris to throw it in. In the backcourt to Tormolin. Tormolin back out to Maris. Maris with the basketball, guarded by Taylor Desch. For all of your title needs, visit Tim Weimer, Northern Colorado title, 205 West Guy, 14 Morgan. Needed to the left corner, trapped over there, backs it out to Tormolin. Beat Diggers up by seven. 
Left of the lane to Randy Baker. Baker had a trace. Gets a man in the air. Puts it up off the glass. No good. The rebound is controlled by Dunker. Nope, he lost it. And the ball is tipped away. And it's still loose. And for Mullen has it. And we have a foul, I think, on Chavez. Yeah, we think are forgetting every loose ball tonight. And like I said earlier, you know, that's going to pay off for them. They may not have connected on that in the first half, but those loose balls, it starts to get into the other team's head. It starts to play on them that they're not going to win one. And we're going to win them all. I'm telling you, this is astonishing. The v thinkers are up by seven, and Colby Needham's is stone cold from the field. This is a good uh, sign. Yeah, I'm saying he's probably 0 for 9. And to throw it in is Maris. Maris looking, still looking. He's going to have to lob it out quickly. Feeds it down low for Baker, and the pass is intercepted by Ryan Lazinski. Here comes Aaron Chunk for Mead. Long pass in the left corner for Rex Golden. Golden takes the three. Entry pass to Lazinski. Turns, banks, and he misses. And the rebound to Tor Mullen. Tormolin trying to work his way out of traffic. Dribbling to his left. Tormolin's going to feed Gregory Mares. Here come the beat diggers into the front court. On the outside right to Dunker. Penetrates right baseline. Off the glass. And in! Dunker! Strong move by the sophomore. And the beat diggers lead by 9, 29-20. Golden with the basketball on the outside right. Bounce pass right baseline. Lozinski lost the basketball. And it's taken away by Tormolin. The beat diggers force beats 14 turnover. Dunker left of the lane. Jump pass, Needham's wide open, right wing three. Yes! Colby Needham's fucking out by the main Maverick. 3.56 to go, third quarter. Rush 32, meet 20 on 1010 KSIR and KSIR.com. John Beltran, Jen Goodall back from Meet High School in Longmont. The Beat Diggers, Jen, were down 18 to 15. They're on a 17 to 2 run going back to the second quarter, but this game is far from over, as you well know. It is far from over, but we have we have a big cheering section in Ron Albo. His voice is carrying clear across the gym, so he's doing a good job of motivating our beat diggers. On the outside left, Rex Golden with a basketball against Needham's looking down low, bounce pass in the lane, and Bryce Needham held Ryan Lasinski. That's another thing. The beat diggers in the entire game have committed only three fouls. Which is totally different than what it was the last time. I think we were in the bonus by now, weren't we? Close to it. Yep. The throw in is Aaron Chung. Chung looking, looking, still looking. He's going to hand it off along the left baseline to Harley underneath the basket. His jump pass to Lazinski, and we've got a whistle and a foul on the floor against the Beat Diggers. I think that's going to be against Needens as well, and Bryce Needens commits his second. Your one-stop center for projects around your home office or yard is Ackley Building Center, 1402 Mill Street in Brush. That's Ackley Building Center. Chung to throw it in, lobs it, left wing Golden takes the three, and that's good for Rex Golden. The beat digger lead is down to nine, 32-23, 3.32 to go in the third. Maris into the front court against Taylor Desch, who is left to Vince Albo. Albo with the basketball, dribbles to his right, gets a fit from Tormol, at the free throw line. Now pass is intercepted by Lozinski. Here's a two on three, Lozinski, right corner for Chung. Steps to his left, cut off by Albo. Looking down low, kicks it back out to Hartley. Hartley inside to Lazinski, wide open, banks and scores. Lazinski now has 10 in the game, and the beat are only up by 7. Approaching the three-minute mark of the third, Rush 32, meet 25. Mayor's baseball pass outside right to Bryce Needham. Needham gets a pick from Tor Mullen, steps to his left, feeds Tor Mullen against Hartley, down low for Albo, tipped away. Albo has it and puts up a shot and misses, and the ball is rebounded. It might have been partially deflected. Aaron Chung comes away with a basketball. Meade is now on a 4 nothing run. Hartley, left baseline, earnings the basket, and I think he was fouled along the baseline. He was. All of a sudden, the beat diggers have committed three fouls in a short period of time. Mitch Tor Mullen commits his second foul, and Kyle Rosenbrock will check in for Bryce Needens. Beat diggers need a stop on this possession. If not, I said 4 nothing. It's actually a 5 nothing run for Meade. Chung to throw it in. Looking, still looking. Left corner for Desch, down low for Hartley. Feeds it off to Golden Banks and misses the rebound to Hartley underneath the basket and then stripped away by Tormolin. Boy, that was a muscle play by Mitch Tormolin. That's turnover number 15 for Meade. Here's Alpo into the front court all the way, scoops it up and in. Alpo down the middle of the lane, uncontrolled. Meade diggers back up by 9, 34 25. In the backcourt, Dash with the basketball. Front court pass to Chung on the outside right to Hartley. Hartley to his left. Crossover dribble at the free throw line against Tor Mullen. Picks up the dribble. Jump pass down low. Lezinski, he fell down. Rosenbrock tripped him up. That'll be the 14th foul for the beat diggers all in the last minute and a half. Rosenbrock commits his second personal. 
with 2.03 to go. At 417 Main Street in Fort Morgan, Platte Valley Hearing Center, getting your hearing to its very best. Chubb lobs it into Lazinski, dribbles, turns, hooks, scores. For Ryan Lazinski, he's got 12. Brush 34, meet 27. A minute 54 to go, third quarter from Longmont. In the State Street League Tournament quarterfinal. Mayers on the outside left to Albo. Albo left of the lane all the way. Scoops and blocked out of there. And the ball is loose in the corner. Taken away by Rex Golden. Golden to Chung on the outside right. Takes a right wing three and that's in and out. The rebound to Hartley. He went back up and he was fouled. Hartley to the line. And now Meade is taking control of the backboards. And Kyle Rosenbrock commits his third foul of the game. They've controlled Austin Hartley, but he's only got two points and three rebounds. Now the lefty to attempt a free throw with a minute 34 to go in the third. The free throw's up and off to the right. In the first half, he did not drive like he's doing right now. So, therefore, I mean, it's not. Um, it's clean up at the top with the arms, but they're just body checking him. Your one-stop shop for all of your banking and investment needs, from checking to savings to IRAs, is Morgan Federal Bank, 321 Ensign Street. Morgan Federal Bank, there's a difference. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Second free throw is good. Made over there by Austin Hartley. That was the first and second free throw of the game attempted by Meade. Meade Diggers lead 34 to 28. Mayers on the outside right jump pass to the top for Rosenbrock. Down low for Colby Meade. His ball knocked away, and it's intercepted. Tipped away. No, it's taken by Mayers. Both teams had it there. Bears on the outside right to meet it. That's a stop for Garcia. Three in the air. Good for Austin Garcia. A gorgeous looking triple. And the beat diggers back up by nine. 37-28. A minute three to go in the third. In the right corner, golden three. And that's well short. Needham has the rebound. Let's see if the beat diggers can run. Jump past the Mares. Over to Rosenbrock. Down low, Garcia. He bangs it and he misses. Tormola with the rebound. Tormola and Faze back out to Needham. Left wing three. Is off the back of the net. And Tormolin tips the rebound in the dash. Bounce pass to Chung. He'll bank and score. Chung was ahead of the field. Nothing the beat diggers could do there. 37 to 30 with 32 seconds to go. That was a four point swing there. Harris on the outside right, right of the lane to Rosenbrock. Penetrates right baseline underneath the basket. Bounce pass to Needham, back out to Tormolin. Near the top to Mayer. 21 seconds to go in the third. B. Diggers up by seven. Tormolin bounce pass to Garcia. Garcia with the basketball. On the outside right to Rosenbrock. Looks up at the clock with 11 seconds. Hands it off to Mares with nine. Mares against Desch. Dribbles to his right. Gets a pick from Rosenbrock with six. Jump pass to Rosenbrock. And he feeds it down low for Moon. And he's got a clock out of there. Tormone puts it back up. And no good. Rebound with the clock. And they're going to wave it off. They're going to wave it off. No basket as Rosenbrock scored. But it was after the buzzer. We played three quarters. Brush 37, me 30 on 1010 KSIR and KSIR.com. The Bee Diggers are eight minutes away from qualifying for the 32-team state tournament and advancing to the Patriot League tournament semifinals, leading 37-30 to in Meade against Longmont. And Meade has the basketball. Lazinski scores off the entry pass off the window from Austin Hartley. Lazinski with 14. Rush 37, Meade 32. 7.39 to go in the game. Dunker with the basketball at the free throw. And back out to Mares out there with Colby Needham, Randy Baker, and Mitch Tormolin. Baker on the outside right, dribbles to his left, cross court to Maris. Maris against Karen Chung out there with Rex Golden, Austin Harvey, Ryan Lazinski, and Oneg Chavez. Tormolin on the outside left to Baker at the free throw line. Can't take that shot. Looking down low, bounce pass to Maris. Reverse layer on the glass and good for Gregory Maris. Oh, that was sweet. That was a great factor attack. Yep, 39 32, 7 09 to go in the game. Golden on the outside left for the basketball. In the left corner for Hartley. Penetrates against Tormola. Underneath the basket. Cross court to Chung. Chung to his left in the lane. Left-handed hook is up. And good for Aaron Chung with the left hand. 39-34 brush. 6.51 to go in the game. Dunker with the basketball. Crossover dribble. Jump pass to Needham's on the outside right. At the top for Baker. Face the three. Left of the lane. Jump pass to Maris. Maris between his legs. Left corner for Baker. Baker. Fakes that shot, dribbles to his right, back out to Bears. Bears well beyond the three-point line. Bounce pass on the outside left to Tormolin. Beat Diggers being very patient on offense. Over to Baker. Baker with the basketball on the outside right. 
to Mares. Here is Needham, 16-footer, is a route off to the left. Rebound to Tormolin, and Tormolin then nearly had a strip away over to Baker, 15-foot floater. It's all back to the rim. Rebound, Mares, 15-footer. That is well short, and Lasinski's going to chase down the rebound for Meade. On the outside right, here's a three by Golden. No good. And Mares goes up for the rebound and went off his leg out of bounds. And that will be Meade basketball, 6.02 to go in the game. Brush 39, Meade 34. Chavez to throw it in. Got to watch out for the lob here. Well, and it, Garcia, Coach Garcia just gave it a signal, so I think they just switched defense. Chung in the right corner. Down low for Hartley. Turns, hooks off the bottom of the backboard, and the rebound to Needham. That was a bad miss. Needham's with a basketball. Front court pass for Dunker. Beatnicker still up by five. Four, 5.48 to go in the game. Baker back out to Needham's. Needham's just beyond the timeline. Against what Ed Chavez on the outside left, the overhead pass to Randy Baker. Baker at the top for Tor Mullen beyond the three-point line. Outside right, Needham's parking lot three is around and no good. He missed it. And the rebound is controlled by Rex Golden of Meade. We're down to 5.27 to go in the game. Brush leads by five. Golden back out to Chavez in the lane. Jump pass outside right to Chung. Chung steps in. Back out towards Hartley. The ball is loose here midcourt. Hartley's going to chase it down, guarded by Tor Mullen. Hartley with the basketball. At the top against Tor Mullen. Penetrates left of the lane. Spinning, fading, shooting, yes, for Austin Hartley. And we've got a timeout. 5.06 to go in the game. Brush 39, Meade 36 on 1010KSIR and KSIR.com. 5.06 to go in the game in this Patriot League Tournament quarterfinal. Brush 39, Meade 36. The Bee Diggers were up by 12. But now it's a... Big run by Meade to get back into the game. With the basketball, it's Jeffrey Dunker into the front court against Golden on the outside left to Baker. Baker at the free throw line into the lane. Baker turns back out to Tor Mullen, right corner for Baker. Baker to his left, takes the three, looking back it out to Maris. These diggers are going to be very patient. This is the closest the game has been in the last few minutes after Brush went up 32-20. to but since then, it's a 16-7 to run by Meade. Tormolin backs up, looking, still looking on the outside right to Maris. Maris with a basketball to his left. At the free throw line, back out to Dunker. At the top for Needens. Needens right of the lane. Bounce pass to Tormolin, and he shoots right baseline, misses. Rebound to Dunker, and he styled as he went back up. Dunker to the line. The beat thinkers are grabbing some key rebounds tonight. They are, and that was a good job by Jeffrey coming to get the backside rebound. He had two people come up to him. And boxed out somewhat, but one of them was a hip check, and that's what the foul was. And a foul was committed by Rex Golden. Dunker to the line at 1305 Edison Street in Brush, your local Napa Auto Parts store at CNC Auto Parts. And the free throw is in. It rattles home. Actually, it just sat on the rim and fell through. Dunker now with five in the game, but it's a two-possession lead with 419 to go. Second free throw is up, and that's off the back of the rim. And the rebound is controlled by Austin Hartley, his fourth rebound. Hartley into the front court, left corner for Golden. Golden back out to Chavez. That's a free throw in the lane, all the way, scoops it up and in. Off the glass, and then Chavez scored uncontested. He's got seven points. Under four minutes to go, brush 40, meet 38. On the outside right, Baker with a basketball. The brush girls lead late in the third, 42-34 over me. Torbolin with the basketball on the outside right to Gregory Mares. At the free throw line for Baker, fouled by Lazinski. That'll be the 14th foul. Lazinski with his first personal with 3.47 to go in the game. And again, that's what we said when the beat diggers went up by 12. This game was far from over. Meade's got too much talent. And plus, you'll go on a big run of 17-2 to eventually. It has to come to an end against a quality opponent. Mares to throw it in underneath the basket in the front court. Mares looking right corner for Rosenbrock. Rosenbrock against Lozinski. Bounce pass to Bryce Needens. Needens in the left corner for Colby Needens. Back out to Mitch Tormolin over to Bryce Needens. With 3.37 remaining. Beat Diggers up by two. Needens lost control. Got it back. Bounce pass to Rosenbrock. And his reverse layup is up and in. For Rosenbrock, he nearly put too much English on it. But Rosenbrock with a cut scores. Rush 42, meet 38. 3.20 to go in the game. Lazinski with a basketball bounce pass left of the lane for Hartley. Hartley against Tormolin. 
Double team backing, fading. That's going to be well short. Mitch for a moment grabs his 11th rebound, and then he fouls. And the foul was committed by Ryan Lisinski. That'll be his second. I was going to say that Mitch is doing a good job getting rebounds, chinning the ball, and pivoting. So the thing is, if he swings his upper torso, he can get a foul. If he pivots, then it's on the other guys, which he did. Bryce Davis with the basketball dribbles across midcourt against Rex Golden. We have hit the three-minute mark of the game. Brush 42, meet 38. Over to Gregory Mares. Cross court to Colby Needham. Back out to Mares in the left wing. Mares between his legs. Maintains the dribble in the left corner for Rosenbrock. Rosenbrock looking down low. Backs it out to Tor Mullen. Tor Mullen at the top for Colby Needham. Needham dribbles to his right. Feeds Mares. Mares on the outside right. Timeout, Brush. 30-second timeout. 2.40 to go. Of course, this is high school basketball. You can hold on to the ball as long as you want. I mean, you have to rotate the ball around the court, but you're up by four. You don't even need to shoot prematurely at this point. Well, and what they're doing is, is a good job. You know, you almost saw a steal there by Chavez at the top into the passing lane, but we have to make sure that we're going to the pass. Well, Two I, points to that. You know, I you have to that virtually every game this year. you got to come back to They're doing a good job of it this game. Start off in Colorado's hometown savings and loan with locations in Brush and Fort Morgan as equitable savings and loan. Yeah, well, and because they're coming back to the basketball, they've committed only four turnovers. Right. I mean, four turnovers. I don't care what level of basketball you're at. That is an outstanding uh, offensive performance in terms of ball security. And I think what Coach Garcia was going to tell them is, is when they have a screener, they got to set the screen. You know, they got to set them up and run them into that player, not give them any room to get through it. Needens to Maris. That's Bryce Needens who threw it in out there with Mitch Cormole and Kyle Rosenbrock and Colby Needens. Rosenbrock with a basketball on the outside right now to Maris. He retreats towards the timeline, picked up by Taylor Dash. 2.24 to go in the game. Rush leads 42-38 over Meade. Rosenbrock at the top, looking to his right, dribbles to his left, back out to Tormolin. Five team fouls for Meade. Same story for the B Diggers. Over to Maris. B Diggers are just going to rotate. Maris over to Needens. Needens in the lane, scoops it up, and in! Down the middle for Colby Needens. A nifty move. He's got only six points, but that was a big basket here. B Diggers by four, less than two minutes to go. Chung takes the three. Chavez penetrates right baseline. Puts it up wild, miss. Rebound to Chavez. He puts up a reverse layup. No good. Ball is knocked out of bounds off of Rosenbrock. It'll be Meade basketball. And with a minute 51 to go, B Diggers still needs stops. And that's a big man, Tyler Triano, in terms of the three-point shooting. He's a threat. He nailed one in the opening quarter. Chavez to throw it in. Chavez still looking. In the right corner, Chung. He'll take a wide open three. That's well short. Mitch Corbola grabs his 12th rebound. Jump pass to Needham. To Bryce Needham. Left corner to Maris. Maris to Colby Needham down low. Colby Needham to make that pass. And that's intercepted. Here's Hartley. Hartley was fouled before going up for the shot. And they're going to say that's two shots? Hopefully that's not an, I didn't see an intentional foul, but they're going to call two shots. Austin Hartley to the line. Again, I'm surprised that that's called two shots. He was fouled before going up, but that would have been almost like continuation. The fouls on Bryce Needham's. I would have said it was on the floor, but maybe he saw something else. Like when he was, I don't know what he saw on that end of the floor. He throw by Hartley is good. I would have given it to him on the baseline. Either way, that was a... The beat diggers have only turned it over five times, but Colby did not make a, one of his better decisions there. Got to make sure you get that pass in there. Second free throw by Hartley is up and around and no good. Mitch Crowbolin unofficially with a 13th rebound. Mares in the backcourt. Back over there, and he puts it over to Rosenbrock. Rosenbrock still in the backcourt, dribbles into the front court. Beat diggers up by five. Back out to Mares. 44-39, a minute 22 to go from Longmont. They're going to have to foul. Five team fouls so far. And Colby Needens grabs the pass, but a foul prior to that. Gregory Mares was fouled by Austin Hartley. And for Hartley, that's his third personal. A minute 17 to go. Rush up 44-39. And Meade calls a timeout. We'll take it with him. Rush 44, Meade 39 on 1010 KSIR. KSIR.com. Bryce Needens is fouled a few seconds into the inbounds pass. That's the 17th foul. Now it's going to be a free throw shooting contest. 
for the Beat Diggers. Needham says five points in the game. It's a 17 foul, one and one situation with a minute 12 to go. John Beltran with Chen Goodall. Beat Diggers lead the game 44 39. The Needham free throw is up and around and good. That's a big one for Bryce Needham. Here comes the second. He makes this one. It's a three possession lead. Well, you got 15. I forgot his name. Rex Golden. Okay. And number three, Taylor Desch. Our switching offense season. So right now you've got an offensive player in. Second free throw is in. Lee Diggers up by seven. So you've got three three point shooters and two big guys in the middle. Harley and Lazinski, the big guys, the three point shooter for Golden, Aaron Chung, and Jorge Chavez. So Desch is on the bench along with Triano. Chung with the basketball just beyond midcourt. Outside left for Chavez against Colby Needham. At the top for Hartley. Holding the ball up high. On the outside left, Chavez. He'll fake the three back out to Hartley. Hartley's going to fake that three. In the left corner, Chavez penetrates left face on. Over way, scoops it down low. It went through an offender, but taken by Aaron Chung. Outside right, Hartley. He'll take the three, and that's off the back of the rim. Rebound to Hartley in the lane. Hartley, that was stripped by Gregory Mears. Mears with the basketball strip, but it's saved in by the big diggers. And we've got a whistle. And do we have an over and back or a foul? No, it's a foul. It's got a fit yeah. here. And it was on Golden. 41.8 seconds to go. Is that right? No, the foul's on Austin Hartley. That's his fourth. Kyle Rosenbrock to the line. That is incorrect. That, yeah, no, they called it on Hartley. Free throw is up, and that's off the back of the rim. And in! <laughs> what a friendly bounce. Golden was the one that was well, they, next the, to the ball. Well, the so, board okay. says Hartley. All right, we'll let it be that way. Second free throw. The beat diggers up by eight, 47-39. And that one is up, and that one is in and out. The rebound to Ryan Lazinski. And they desperately beat three. Chavez front court, outside right to Chung. 35 seconds to go. Chung, left-handed hook is no good. Rebound to Hartley. Fade, shoot, he misses. And the rebound to Kyle Rosenbrock. Rosenbrock is trapped along the corner, and then he threw it away out of bounds. But let me tell you, this game is just about over. Beat Diggers up by eight with 24.9 seconds to go. And to throw it in is Chavez. The Brush girls lead early in the fourth, 48-38 over Meade in Brush. Chavez to throw it in left corner. Triano three in the air, and that's off the front of the rim. And the rebound was controlled by Needham, but he was out of bounds. 20.6 seconds to go. Chavez to throw it in. Chavez looking, looking, still looking. Lobs it outside left for Hartley. Hartley over to Golden to his left. He'll take a three, and he was fouled by Baker. That'll be three free throws. As Baker fouled him with 16.6 seconds to go. So to the line is Rex Golden. Well, it'll still be, even if he makes all three, a two-possession game with 16.6 to go. Free throw by Golden is in the air, and that is no good off to the left. Well, he's got to make these two. If not, it's still going to be a three-possession game. And if the beat diggers have the ball with a three-possession lead, it's going to be over. Second free throw for Golden. Spins, shoots, and he makes that one. 47-40. Third free throw coming up for Rex Golden with 16.6 seconds to go. Golden. He throws it off the uh, backboard as they were trying to get a rebound, but you've got to hit the rim. So the B-Diggers have the basketball. You know, I think he was aiming straight at the rim. Yeah. And once he didn't get it, Jim, I think that's good strategy. It is good strategy, but it's really hard to do. Of course it is, yeah. Harris to throw it in. In the backcourt to Bryce Needham, and Needham dribbles. He's still not fouled, and the long pass in the right corner, Tormolin. Tormolin is now fouled by Ryan Lazinski with 9.7 seconds to go, and the beat diggers have wrapped this up. A seven-point lead, and Miss Tormolin at the line, and that is the 19th foul. The foul was committed again by Lazinski. His fourth. Make it his third. Tormolin's free throw is up, and that's off the back of the rim, and the rebound is controlled by Austin Hartley, 
And here comes Taylor Tesh to Chavez. Left corner, Golden. He'll take the three. That's well short. Rosenbrock has the rebound. And the King Diggers have won the game by a score of 47 to 40. We'll take a two-minute break, and we'll wrap it up after this as the Bee Diggers advance to the Patriot League Tournament semifinals right here on 1010KSIR and KSIR.com. John Beltran and Jen Goodall back from Meet High School in Longmont. Welcome to the Bee Digger Post Game Show brought to you by Buildings by Design. The most important thing to buying a new building or starting a new design build project is picking the right company to build it. For a free bid, call Pat Walter, Travis Lefevre, 970-842-5837. Visit them on the web at buildingsbydesign.com. All right, the Beat Diggers trail 12-11 to 11 after the opening quarter, and then an 11-6 to 6 second quarter, which was part of a 17-2 to 2 run, put the Beat Diggers up 22-18 to 18 at the break. They outscored Meat 15-12 to 12 in the third to go up 37-30. to 30. Both teams scored 10 in the fourth as the Beat Diggers, again, advanced to the Patriot League Tournament semifinals against the winner of the 7-30 game between Wells Central and Valley. Here's how the scoring went. And Brush tonight had an impressive nine players in the scoring column, and they had none in double figures. So this was very well balanced, Jen. You know how I feel about a well balanced game. I, I like it better than if one or two players always having to take the brunt of the scoring and the defense and all that stuff. So a well balanced game means that they're well balanced on defense and on offense, which I think we saw. I could probably ask you, I could probably give you three guesses as to who the uh, leading scorer was tonight. I would have never guessed who the leading scorer was. Uh, I'm going to say Kyle Rosenbrock. Kyle Rosenbrock was the leading scorer with nine points, though. That's it. I mean, that, that's how balanced it was. Seven points in the game for Bryce Needens, six apiece for Colby Needens and Mitch Tormolin. And let's face it, they went by seven when Colby Needens, and I'm not going to sugarcoat it because the numbers indicate it had a horrendous shooting night. He made just two field goals, and I would say probably around – two out of 11, two out of 12 in that range, and they still won by seven. He contributed in other ways, undoubtedly, but just had an off-shooting night. Well, and I was just going to say that, you know, he disrupted a lot of passes. He was in the passing lane, and he was looking for their cuts, and he was cutting them off and making interceptions a lot throughout the night. Yeah, his defense was and his rebounding was very good. So six points apiece for Tor Mullen and Colby Needens, five points in the game for Austin Garcia and Gregory Mares, as well as Jeffrey Dunker, and four points for Randy Baker, and then two points for Vince Albo. Meanwhile, for me, they got 14 points from Ryan Lazinski, seven in the game from Odell Chavez, six apiece from Aaron Chung, and Austin Hartley, four points from Rex Golden, and three points in the game for Titer Triano. Rebounding-wise, unofficially, the beat diggers had 31, as did Meade. 13 rebounds is a 31 for Mitch Tormolin. Eight rebounds for Ryan Lazinski and seven in the game for Austin Hartley. So those two combined for 15 rebounds. And again, those two are equivalent to a missed Tor Mullen, and that's why Tor Mullen had to grab double digits and rebounds tonight. Well, I think last game, when we played against them the first time, didn't they have double that? Uh, yeah, yeah, I think well, they certainly were more dominant on the boards. And by the way, 53 47, Brush Girls still lead. That lead has been cut to six in the fourth quarter against Meade. All right, so we got to the rebounding totals. The turnovers, big difference. Meade had 16, brush with only six in the game. And for the free throw line, Meade was three out of seven, 42%. Beat Diggers, nine out of 13 for 69%. The Beat Diggers win their 12th game of the year, but the records at this point really don't matter. The key is the Beat Diggers will advance to a 7:30 game coming up on Friday night from University of Northern Colorado and Greeley, more than likely against the top seed Valley which is hosting right now in a few minutes. They'll be hosting the eight-seed Weld Central. So the good thing here, this is why this game is the most important, Jen. We saw it last year when they lost as a number three seed to Eaton. Even though they went two and one in the tournament, they went down to a 27 seed because you lose that quarterfinal, the best you can finish is fifth. But right. you win the quarterfinal, the worst you can finish is fourth. Right. So, I mean, that's what we're looking at right now, even if the beat diggers lose. But, boy, I think... Hopefully you can win that third-place game if you do not win on Friday because the third-place game will be a better matchup for Brush. Then again, they lost by 12 to Meade four weeks ago, and they went tonight by seven. They lost by nearly 30. I think it was a 28-point victory by Valley. So, obviously, the Beat Diggers did a nice job adjusting the second time around in this case. And you never know, in those uh, redemption situations, Beat Diggers did it tonight. Maybe they can carry that pattern over to Friday. Well, and it's different when you send, you know, coaches always go out and scout 
and do those kind of things and tell the kids. But until you've played it, until you see exactly what they're talking about, a lot of times it just goes in one ear and out the other. So I think there's a lot to be said for playing a team twice. Now, a third time, it gets tougher. That's to team three times in a row. So as you add to the equivalence of what you've played already, it gets tougher. Welcome home to your hometown grocery store featuring Morgan County's largest variety, the Brush Grocery Carts, with a minute 54 to go, and uh, we will be off the air before this game ends. With a minute 54 to go in Brush, the Brush Girls lead me 54-49. So here's essentially the broadcast schedule for Friday. If the Brush Girls hold on and win that game, they would play at 3 o'clock right here on 1010 as well as KSIR.com against the winner of the University Birthday game, which is ongoing. If they lose that game, they play at 9 a.m. on Friday on B106 and B106.com. So let's hope the beat diggers hold on uh, to do a 9 a.m. and a 7.30 game of two extremes. I mean, we'll have them on the air, but on two different stations. But if the brush girls hold on and they win, then it will be a 3 o'clock game. So hopefully we'll be with you at 3 o'clock on Friday and at 7.30 definitely right here on 1010 as well as KSIR.com. All right, outstanding job once again by our sound engineer and producer, Rose Condis. For our esteemed analyst, Jen Goodall, I'm John Beltran. The final score once again tonight in the Patriot League Tournament quarterfinals, Brush 47, Mead 40 on 1010 KSIR and KSIR.com.